guys i'm currently number two in the world as you saw from yesterday's video so in today's video i'm going to try to get number one inside of hall of masters all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are against adam the pig here i'll give him a good luck start with our tax shooter right here he is a fan of the channel so it's going to be pretty high planning and stuff starting with the mortar actually what starting with the mortar that is very interesting i did not expect that in the slightest here okay so we'll see what they're going they could be on eco i guess you know we'll just we'll just have to wait and see also, I think I misplayed because I don't think I'm going to get around Jericho here if he max anti stalls with the mortar. I think I misplayed. Yeah, he didn't get round one either. So, I mean, it's not that bad. I should have equaled less though. I should have equaled less because I could have avoided. Um, I could have gotten round one Jericho. So, we're going to balloon boost at them. Since I don't think mortar starts the best. Let's put this on first. They targeted their mortar. Okay. Yeah, they're leaking a lot here. I don't know about this start. I'm gonna send them yellows on the next round too. They're gonna leak a. They might just die. They might die. They boost. They got Bernie stuff. No, they'll be good. They'll be good. With the boost and Bernie, it's just they're down to 38 now, which is not a very good start for them. But they're good for now. I think. I think they need faster shooting on it or something or a different mortar spot because it's missing a couple yellow balloons. Okay, they got the, both the faster shooting upgrades. All right, well done there. What if I balloon boost? Do I get pinks through that? I get a couple pinks through that, it looks like. Getting a couple pinks through. Put this on first. Yeah, this is bad for them. This is very, very bad. They got ninja down. Okay, so it's, it's some sort of weird eco strategy they're going. I feel kind of bad sweating like tag farm mortar and they're going some sort of meme strategy. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get top one this season, so I'm not going to go really meme strategies. They might be dead. They're dead. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'll catch you all next game. All right, guys. Our next match of the video is against Trash Game here. I think this is number four on the leaderboard, so i got to focus up here. We'll start with my Dart. We're going Dartling Elk Boat, of course, so it should be a fun one indeed. Start with my dart link here in a second. Perfect. They use the back darling spot, so we have different darling spots here. I prefer this spot because um then my second dart link can be my HRP, where their spot um they can't really do that the same because their dart link is in their HRP spot. So yeah. Let's get my Jericho down. Perfect. And we will continue eat going. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We actually leaked less than them, surprisingly, on the first round, even though they have the better Dartling spot for early game. So, not exactly sure how that happened, but I'll take it. I'll take the leaks less. I'll leak more here because there's so many greens, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, they got their Dartling cross path. Nicely done. Do mine. And we'll send them blues. Perfect, perfect. So, I assume they have farm here. Based on how they're playing, they probably are bringing Darling Elk Farm. So ideally, we want to stole these rounds against Darling Elk Farm. So that's what we'll try to do a little bit. We'll try to get a little bit of a stolage on this. Okay, there's their farm. Yep. So make sure we don't pop this, these balloons for a bit. We're going to balloon boost pinks at them on this round. Should go force a good mid of leaks here. With this slaying. Yeah, we got them down to what 70 looks like that's pretty good 65 okay a little bit more nice nice we'll both use our jericho steals here come on perfect they did theirs as well let's upgrade my dartling now and we'll send them whites perfect perfect this game's been going to plan so far let's try to fit this boat as much to the top right as possible because it's possible to fit four boats in this water but you have to be pretty precise with your placements to do it. So, got my first boat down, which is nice. Upgrade it a little bit. Good vibes all around. Crow's Nest. They got their farm upgraded. Nicely done. Stole this round, as always. Keep stalling. Perfect. And the plan is to get a merchantman this round. I think... If I get two more income boosts, I should. 
should get another income boost here. Perfect. Oh, I actually got an income boost after that, surprisingly. There's a lot of income boosts there. Yeah, we forced a boost on their side, that's nice. And some ALK upgrades. I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, we gotta be careful for round 9. Because round 9 rushes can be kind of scary. Especially if I boost it, which I don't want to boost round 9. Boosting round 9 is bad for me. Steal money from them, they'll steal from me. Perfect. Is he going to send me? Doesn't appear so, actually. Surprisingly. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, then you get their HRP up. Nicely done. They did that. We're gonna have a second merchantman on round on round twelve. Would be my plan. Do I get two more income boosts? I think I do. If I stole this round out, uh, they might have anti-stole. I don't get the merchantman here, do I? Ah, oh, nicely done. They got it slightly anti-stole, so they made me not get my merchantman. It's fine though. They got double plant. Well done. Let's get my merchant up. We'll go 900 eco here. Get a little bit more than 900. We'll steal from them. Let's go a thousand actually. A thousand eco on the dot, perfect. They're ecoing now. Okay. We're good against that. Just micro alk once. The reason I micro alk is because there's a downtime on the alk buff, so I buy it and resell it, so then um the alchemist buff is reapplied. It's 2000 IQ tactics. I think I get favorite trades this round. If it gets stalled enough, please get stalled. There we go. Perfect. That's good. I have laser shock on it already. I'm chilling there. We should be able to get a second, mer a second favorite this round. Okay, I almost died there because I didn't have money to micro my alk like I thought I did. Okay, I should defend that. Yeah, we defend that. Alright. I'll catch y'all in the next game. That should give me a decent amount of score because I'm pretty sure that's the number... Um. That's the number, what's it called? Four player on the leaderboard. Yeah, look at that, 41 score. It's actually pretty good. So where am I at? I know I'm close to top one, but I don't think I'm top one yet. Yeah, I am. Ooh, I'm almost there actually, guys. So I might be able to get top one uh, this video. I think Ninjas is playing right now, though, so he might be getting score as we speak. All right, guys, our next game here is against Mr. Pressing. Uh, Mr. Pressing is an iconic person in the Battles 2 community. Their name is Macy KFCB. Start with our bomb shooter right here on the map of Oasis. Put this on last. Mr. I love Subway. They're starting with their Dartling. The reason why this guy's iconic, guys, is he always goes Dartling, Oban, um, Wiz, and Spack. 
and they use weird dartling spots too and they always send like random all out rushes and stop at like 500 eco so they play like the same way every single game it's funny because um we, we kind of call them an ai because they basically play like an ai they have the same exact play style every single map so we'll see if they follow the play style this game i don't think he'll give me very much score though so i don't think i'll be able to get top one if i win this game let's get uh frag bombs up perfect okay we're gonna micro you to close now when these balloons come around that should deal with stuff a little bit all right they're targeting their darling a little bit one income boost so i can get my um cluster up so i can minimize leaks Put you on last now. All right, we're good. We're good, guys. They got wizard down as well. Uh, there's no point in sending spaced yells. Grouped reds are the same exact efficiency as spaced yells. They both both cost um twenty dollars per one eco. But the advantage of grouped reds is that it gives you eco faster. You can send. I'd send spaced yells often, but that's only if I can force defense or leaks on my opponent. In this case, it would not have done anything. So. Grouped reds round four there. I mean round three there or the move. I'm gonna greed for a farm here. If he balloon boosts, I'll just boost. Steal money from them. Let's get this to bigger bombs. I'm a lot I'm fine greeting there and leaking a little bit because they don't have Jericho, so I don't have to worry about camo balloons from Jericho or anything like that. Coming at me. Let's get heavy bombs up. Right, we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling. Might be kind of hard for him to afford everything. Because it's going to be max anti-stall this match, so... I'll make sure to... I'll stop ecoing really early this game, by the way, guys. Because I know my opponent only goes for, like, 500 eco normally, so... I'm going to go for, like, 500 as well, and I have farm. So I'm going to stop ecoing very early this match. Let's get greater production up. Let's go for my farm. Let's go for my balloon bot as well. Perfect and perfect. Round 7 doing good so far keep throwing down their brambles fair enough just a little bit longer and then I'll stop ecoing 500 yeah I don't know if they'll be able to defend round 13 even if they stop ecoing really early just because of the anti stole it's gonna be hard for them to defend round 13 with the anti stole here but even if they defend round 13 I don't need to even kill them that round because I don't think they'll the loadouts very good late either. I'll upgrade my farm a little bit. Yeah, you, they stopped ecoing pretty much the same time as me, and they didn't really send any grouped eco either. So, <coughs> either, so they definitely have about the same amount that I have. Do I go for a second plant? I think I do because I can still afford my um D camo for round twelve with this. If he sends me just any rush this round, I just boost against it and I can defend. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to leave this uncross path because I can get the bottom cross path for increased cell back. Um, if I want to rush my opponent, which I probably will. Well, they have an HRP and a wall of fire. Is it even worth? I mean, I can probably still kill them. We'll send them a little something something. This, on this should be on strong. We'll boost against this. Okay, they have to boost my rush. Yeah. I think they're dead against a re-rush. They might be dead against this rush anyways. They boosted kind of late. Well... Okay, yeah, they're dead. I was going to say, the Darling targeting might have saved them there, but... Alright. Let's see how much score we got. We only got 13 from that game, so... We... Are still behind. Yeah. Alright. All right, guys, our next match of the video is against Boltrix here. I don't think this is the real Boltrix. I think this is a copycat, but um, we're on the map of building site with strategy tack mortar boat. So it should be a fun one. I really like this map with this strategy. It's a pretty good strategy for the map. So let's get it. Let's get it. They could be going the same strategy or they could be using tack farm wins. Those are the two popular strategies on this map. So I assume it's one of the other one of the two. Get my Jericho down. Perfect. And then we're going to try to force some leaks on this next round. With a bit of layering. I forgot to upgrade my attack shooter. I oversent. It's fine though. I'm doing fine. 
put this on first. I should put it on first earlier. I, yeah, I leaked a lot more than them. Their tax spot also, though, their tax spot's better at defending early than mine. The difference is my tax spot's better later in the game. So, our tax spots are slightly different in that regard, too. But yeah, their tax spot leaks a lot less on the first couple rounds. And then, um, my tax spot's better for, like, round 11 and that type of stuff. So, I do prefer my tax spot, but that's why our lives are quite different. Get my farmer down. Let's get my balloon bot down. And we'll go for my boat here pretty soon. I, they definitely got the same strategy, by the way. I have confirmed it because they would have went for an early farm if they had wizard. It's got to be tack boat mortar. Let's try to fit this as close as possible. Nice. Put you on last. Let's get a money steal. They did the same. We'll just send constant space to eco now. There's no point of trying to layer because they, they've got boat as well. They've got a pretty healthy life count. There's no point of doing layer, small layered rushes on their tax shooter. No reason for it. We'll just keep Space Deep going. This one's strong, right? Yeah. We want my Jericho on strong there. Now we're slowly getting through with it. Actually, how am I making him leak? I feel like, yeah, I feel like my his tax spot's only better on the very first couple of rounds. But then, like, once you get up to a blade, my spot's better. I think that's the difference. Do I get one more income boost? I think I do. If we don't, then neither of us get a merchant. But I'm pretty sure we do. Because of camos. Wait, he didn't get his merchant? What? Yeah, we forced a boost on their side. I don't know how they missed their merchant there. But I got mine. I feel like we ecoed similarly. Maybe not. Yeah, well, we forced a boost on their side, which is nice. I think I'll send them a couple region zebras next round. See if that does anything. If they send me, I need to be prepared for it too. Yeah, this is gonna do stuff. They might be dead here. They boost. I think you need a second tax shooter up here to defend it. Like a second blade shooter. Or you get up a second mortar with a bunch of upgrades. But yeah, those region zebras are kind of rough for them. Okay, we're gonna balloon boost. I'm gonna boost against this rush. Should be good there. Alright, we won. GG's. Let's see how much that gave me. 33. I don't know if Ninjais is playing right now, though. Oh, I'm first. Look at that. Okay. Well, perfect. Wait. No, I'm not. He has. More. Wait. No, he lost. Okay. I thought he. So he must have lost because I thought it was 42 versus 35, but he's 6100. So he just lost a game and lost a bunch of elo. That's unfortunate. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe with your forward. It makes it means the world to me. Top one in the world right now. Ryan Mahalik. Make sure to subscribe. More try hard content coming soon. Peace.